Well, this sounds like a video game. A speeding car crashes through a cage of propane tanks, flips, and hits a house. And after all that, the driver survives. Now, police in Merrimack are wondering what was happening behind the wheel. WBZ's Paul Burton has our story. It felt like possibly like an earthquake. That it, it shook the store, the, the glass and everything over here. Could hear it move. Dennis Francis says he was cleaning up Merrimack Liquors when he heard the crash. That's when he ran outside and saw this flipped over minivan and paled into this building. The crash was so loud it rocked this quiet neighborhood. Heard just a big bang. When we got up closer, we could see that there was a tr uh, car on its side right into the house, like right literally in the inside of the house. The roof was all smashed. Police say on Saturday night, the driver of this minivan drove his car off the road through two concrete barriers, a wooden guardrail, a fence, and a cage containing propane tanks, then rolled over several times into the side of this unoccupied home. I was like, oh my God, somebody could not have survived that. Like I said, the roof, it looked like it must have flipped over. Yeah, I mean, you could hear him breathing, uh, but there, nothing was incoherent. Um, just to make sure there was no one else in, in the house. Uh, we knew that it was vacant, but we just wanted to make sure. And then if there was anyone in the backseat of the car, because the roof was crushed. You get a sense of how fast this car must have been going by the damage that left behind. Police say an officer actually spotted the driver speeding past him a little further up the road. When the officer tried to pull the vehicle over, it actually accelerated, coming to a smashing halt into this brick wall. Ran up and the cop was trying to get the windshield out of the way just to see if we can even get a response from the guy. The driver of the car was transported to a local hospital and then later flown to Boston with serious injuries. Um, I just hope he's okay. The crash remains under investigation. In Merrimack, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.